Hey Siri, turn light strip on. Hey Siri, turn lamp on. Much better. Hey beautiful people, it's Mizko here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how we turn this landing page into something like this. All right, let's get right into it. Wow, what the sh I don't know why I'm slapping you guys, but one more, what? All righty -o. whenever I start a new project, I never jump into Figma right away. I'm always sketching in my notepad, on an A4 piece of paper, or even my iPad. The goal is to get all my ideas down so I don't need to try to solve so many different challenges inside Figma. I use paper or my iPad to focus on layouts and notes and general thinking. And then when I jump into Figma, that's where I exercise all the visual flair. Once I'm ready, I jump right into Figma. I obviously connect my design file with the design ship design system. As you can see here, I can pull through all the different grid layouts that I need. I also have access to all the icons and topography and whatnot. Then once I'm ready, jump into Dribble for visual inspiration. Never do I use Dribble for UX inspiration. Really, it's all about the visual aspects of it. Now I'm looking for something that's red and black, mainly because I feel like the red and white color scheme that the growgetter.co landing page had it didn't quite reflect the feeling and vibe that I was trying to go for. The website that they're trying to go for and the entire value that they're trying to provide customers is growth. And I think with growth, it's all about quite, it's about being aggressive, it's about being hacky, it's about all these different strategies. So I felt like some nice bold fonts with a more dark vibe for the design would go a little bit better for what they're trying to achieve. As you can see here, I'm playing around with a little bit of styling, color palettes with the inspiration that I've got. And I'm simply just tweaking away at the design until I'm happy with it. Here I'm adding a little bit of social proof on the design. And my ultimate goal in the hero area is to really make sure that the messaging is, is concise, that we have some social proof, and it's evident and it's very easy to understand what the value of this landing page is trying to convey when someone first lands on the page. I also found a screenshot of their Substack newsletter. And here you can see I'm putting a little bit of a graph chart to really show that growth aspect that they keep talking about on their actual website. Here I'm trying to get the gradient right a little bit, playing around with a bit of the tweaking and the opacity. Here you can see I'm playing around with alignments and at the top of the page you can see that I've added some dashed lines to really bring through some visual cues and visual assets that we can use on the web page that reminds the user that this website is a little bit analytical and we've got some data involved. So I've brought through the visual texture. Here at the bottom of the web page I'm trying to bring through some points and notes of what the user can expect if they sign up. So there's a section that's just above the fold that says, what will you get? And I wanna be very explicit and very detailed on exactly what customers and users can expect when they sign up for this service. Here you can see I'm trying to find the right shade of dark gray with a, with a slight tint and shade of red just so it blends in with the overall color scheme. Here you can see I'm accessing all the different icons and styles from the design ship design system. Now with a little bit more tweaking, we were able to take this design and turn it into this. Now a very quick recap 
when you were designing a landing page or a home page, the UI UX is extremely important. First, you need to make sure that your main headline is clear and concise. Second, make sure any supporting imagery that you use is also clear. Don't tilt it on angles and weird perspectives and make it hard for the user to understand or see exactly what the value is. Put it into the spotlight and make it very easy to digest. Third thing, make sure you have social proof on all your designs. We need to make sure that we are putting our best foot forward to motivate other users who are landing on the page to take action. And the last point is, when someone lands on your site, they need to know immediately what they will get and what they will gain from your product or service. Now, hopefully you learned a thing or two in this video. And if you do want to get a piece of that design system to really streamline your design process inside Figma, there is a link in the description. I've also left you a juicy coupon code to get 10 bucks off. And if you want to continue learning, I will be releasing a number of courses very, very soon. So make sure to check the link in the description to get early bird access to all my courses. All right, I'll see you in another video very soon. Wow.